nothing beats by injecting a brand new, not battle scarred, broadcasting trained, sarcastic zingers and one liner machine into any political campaign. There's only one possible problem with such an entity if those sarcastic zingers and one liners aren't true, as in mistakes and lies. Our third story in the countdown, and you can make it worse, especially when it turns out the sarcastic zingers and one liner machine has only the one speech which she repeats again and again and again. Because that means the machine, in this case, Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, repeats again and again and again her mistakes and lies. Speaking in Colorado Springs, Governor Palin said that the lending giants, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, had, quote, gotten too big and too expensive to the taxpayers, end quote. However, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were not taxpayer funded since they were private companies. The first taxpayer funds are the ones being injected right now in the bailout. So much for her grasp of economics and the mortgage crisis. But that's nothing compared to one of Palin's most repeated lines about the infamous Ted Stevens Bridge to Nowhere, the pork barrel congressional earmark that quickly became a national, albeit international, symbol of waste. Palin, again today in Missouri. I told Congress, thanks but no thanks for that bridge to nowhere. As we mentioned earlier, that new ad from the McCain campaign asserts that Palin, quote, stopped the bridge to nowhere. But Palin was unquestionably for the project before she was against it. Here's what she said as a candidate in 2006 during the Alaska gubernatorial debate when asked if she would cancel what by that time had become the road to nowhere. I wouldn't. I'm not going to stand in the way of progress that our congressional delegation in the position of strength that they have right now, they're making those efforts for the state of Alaska to build up our infrastructure. I would not get in the way of progress. And when she became governor, her eventual so-called opposition was at best wishy-washy. She only abandoned the actual bridge after costs rose and it became a national embarrassment. But the money for the original earmark, $223 million, had already been approved by Congress. So Sarah Palin's Alaska began spending it on other transportation projects like the $25 million road to nowhere, which leads to the empty beach where the bridge would have begun, according to the newspaper, the Anchorage Daily News. And now you've also heard about the previous governor's private jet, which she announced to great applause at the Republican convention she had sold by putting it on eBay and it turned out a it wasn't just the governor's jet it used to transport the large percentage of Alaska's prisoners who have to be farmed out to other states because Alaska doesn't have enough cells and B three separate times Governor Palin tried to sell it on eBay but not once did anybody pony up the minimum bid the state actually sold the jet not on eBay but through an aviation broker why aren't you applauding and remember her heartwarming story about how her kids were disappointed but she had to fire that chef at the governor's mansion? Not true. That chef, Stephanie Marnon, was first reassigned as a constituent relations assistant in the governor's office and later to the State Museum and the Legislative Lounge, still cooking all the time.